in order to uh, not have the marks, but in order to fit the feet together in ancient times, they would take an iron rod and break the femur so that they could loop the feet over. And uh, later in life, through an accident, the femur was broken on this left leg. And I felt the accumulation of the rest of the pain that I may not have felt previously at the time. So the cycle was complete. And uh, it troubles me, but if you got the mark, you goddamn sure didn't uh, crucify yourself. It was very difficult to get someone to drive a stake through your wrist. Not that you could stand it anyway. When did that happen? These came about at age 18. The, uh, Where were you? I was in, uh, I was taking a trip, a journey. I was picked up in the Red Hills of Alabama um, at that time. And I was returned about seven days later. And I noticed that I had the marks. I would not remember the journey and it's all of its ramifications for many years in the future. But now I understand, you know. Therefore, I'm a living embodiment of some of the things that I have suffered and went through during those experiences. And now I fit it all together and what have you. The journey did not only include the layover in, the, in the ancient Jerusalem. We went back further. We also witnessed uh, the, the soldiers of Alexander when they met Darius on the plains of Atasha. Uh, before then, we also witnessed uh, the, the journey of the, 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 the clash of the 300 against the Persians in Thermopylae, and then back through time as we go. We went back much further too, but back through time, uh, only when we got to the time of the Holocaust and witnessed many of the atrocities there that I told them, I've seen enough, I can't stand anymore, shut it down. So were you time traveling? Were time you, was it out, out of body experience? No, physically time traveling, physically time traveling. Now, go and get me the bone, or uh, the thigh bone, say, uh, of uh, a Persian, or, or perhaps uh, uh, one of the group, one of the group of the, of the 300, the atomic deterioration in that bone will literally, under the neurotronic computers, put you back within anywhere from point on to 12 hours before or after the actual death of that individual. And you can witness it in real time, standing above and what have you. Realize that 
when you time travel, and if you are placed in the scenario down on earth, you are subject to the dangers, the diseases, the vectors, uh, the physiology, the smell of the blood. Uh, and all of this, you are subject to it while you are there. And you can be killed because you are there in the physical. Now, if perchance an arrow or a lance pierces your heart and you die there, in the future, no one will know of you. Your mother would not know you. She would not have borne you. No newspaper would have spoken of you. No records would exist. No school records. No nothing. And you would be a non-entity, so to speak. Uh, so, time traveling carries with it as many perils as it does rewards. And uh, it was only at my insistence that I ever did a physical appearance on any scenario and what have you. And uh, much to my dismay from time to time, fucking up. However, they were tentative enough not to allow me to perish, but I had to know. I'm very, I'm a very inquisitive person, and I simply had to feel the elementals of the scenario in which I was witnessing, and all of this, at many times against the extraterrestrial's advice. You see what I mean? Look at me. And, uh, but if you choose to endeavor to go back through the times and the scenarios of that time, you are subject to what may befall the entities there. So bear that in mind. <laughs> okay. Riley, we got action. Well, it's uh, much like watching uh, a big movie production or something of that nature, only it was real. This is talking, you're talking about what you saw when you went back in time and yes, saw Alexander. Yes. Uh, I saw Alexander riding his white horse along the lines. I saw his archer and his lanceman. I saw the Nubian cavalry encircling, encircling Darius's uh, uh, minions, and they were at least outnumbered. 10, 20 to 1. However, there was a valley between sheer hills in this valley and uh, they could not send all of the uh, Persians in at once. And uh, these 300 stood off in their battle formations and their archers and their lancemen oh, were cutting them down as, as a last resort, swords oh, and knives and all of this. And the Persians would ultimately have to back off because the bodies were piled up so dense until they could not send the cavalry or anything like that in, they'd have to oh, back off and regroup and come again. So great were these 300s who were being whittled down until the rise himself said, oh, what manner of warriors are these that they send only 300 against thousands? 
and me thinks that if this is but 300 of them, mayhaps it is better not to tread on them at this time. For surely the glory of their worth and the ferocity of their warriorship is greater than I have witnessed. Let us then depart or back across the steaming waters. Mayhaps we shall come again, for I tell you truly, these Grecian warriors are greater than I have ever before witnessed. I pay homage to their mastery of the sword, the arrow, and the lance. For they are written in the chronicles of our Sanskrit and shall be so through time immemorial. Let us depart, for such a thing I have never witnessed among mortal men. Though they are now all dead, I tell you, go and bow and say a prayer for their souls. For these great fighters shall live in history for time immemorial. And I could smell the blood. I could feel the lamentations of the spirits and of their women left behind. Did that disturb you? Yes, terribly so. Nonetheless, it was history. The alien told me, friend Martin, do you really want to see? I said, sure, I want to see it for real. And he said, there have been those among you who walk the waters, who healed the sick, gave sight to the blind, and some say even raised the dead. So there is greatness among you also. But remember, all, if you want to see the truth, you must see. Uh, the wars, man against man, the death, the misery that has accompanied your chronogenesis since the beginning of cognizant time. So if you wish to see it all, you must see the beauty, the danger, and the horror of it all. I must say, this is heavy shit, but I want to see. And I saw the ships embarking and moving away from the shore. Oh, I'm sure the war was not over. Between these foes. But we remember them, do we not? these eyes, I witness these things. My gift is that I have seen and that I can see. My curse is that I can no longer not see and remember. But see, the viewer has to bear in mind here that some of my scenarios are getting jumbled here. The time of Alexander on the hill on the plains of Atasha is different from the Battle of the 300 at uh, Thermopylae. Uh, 
because Alexander was a Thracian Greek and the others were Greek proper, of the, the 300 were Greek proper, then uh, I'm kind of getting them mixed up. Nonetheless, it all happened and I witnessed these things at the time, so you must forgive my historical ignorance in as much as I only went to like the eighth grade in school and what have you. But these things I tell you are true and they happened and I bore witness uh, to the ferocity of these things. So you must forgive uh, my ignorance ignorance of time and places and things like that. Um, but uh, surely it was there, it transpired, and I bore witness to it with these eyes. How did that affect you with, with, with the way you perceive life now and how do you, how do you respond to things that happened that knowing aliens and things of that nature are real? I'm aware of the fact that the past is more or less written in stone, whereas the future is to a great extent an unknown quantity. Therefore, locking down and visiting the future is a much more difficult thing and has not uh, been accomplished even by the Biavians in the physical yet except through probes and things of this nature. But the past is there. I tell you truly that the, the Sioux warriors in Custer at the Little Bighorn are still fighting somewhere in the etheric elementals of time. The spiritual realm. Yes, yeah, the spiritual realm. Therefore, if you could latch on and revisit that time, you can see that war again. Uh, and generally, it is so compact and true uh, and physical until you can even smell the blood if you were there. And it tends, I suppose, to happen over and over again. Uh, it is difficult to explain, but these scenarios are written in the dimensions of time. And if you can access them, or have the technology to access them, then you can go back and literally witness it all again.